Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So happy to be here for day 28 of Fragments and Show number 1852 here on Twitch. We're going to kick things off some Isaac and see where that wheel lands. Let's hop right in and see how it goes. Before we do anything, let's get caught up with the fine people of chat here. You guys subbing and resubbing before the show even begins. You're crazy. Oh yeah, it's Hodge. Thanks for 32 months in a row, man. Almost that Hall of Fame. Mugos123, welcome back to the Dapper. Really appreciate that sub love, dude. Grassfax, thanks for 7 months in a row. And Camera56, thanks for 25 months. What's good? Uh, Dave Thing, Dan Aquino, Sacratoy, AC Wilkins, Gaming Legend, Garth of Lakewood, Magic Hut, Blarbicus, Demon Firebrand, Spirit Weasel. Uh, Sir Stewie, uh, Wiki Wiki Man, Quaven. OG in the house is up. Rising backpack. Peta. Flex manhorn. Moo Nelly. Prince Zimbu. Sven Eloff. Nice to see you, man. Testing. Don't click. Space Ghost. E Red Kaiser. Lone Wolf and Triforce Club. Elephant. Zealousy. So many early crew here today. Bonesaw McGraw. What a name. What a player. Welcome to the dam. Little hand to you, friend. Bearded Flame. Thanks for 16 months, sir. I'll spin that wheel of children. All right, keeper. That's that's good. I'm actually going to spin again. I don't want to start off the key run. Too much concentration for the first one. I got caught up with people and stuff. Every room requires full concentration on the keeper, which is fine. I don't mind keeper. It's just I want to be able to reach out and enjoy myself for this, uh, this starting portion. There we go. Classic Isaac run. I am the mid boss. Thanks for 50 months in a row. A half century in climbing. Much love. Keeper uh, has only two health for the entire game, unless you find a very special item. Uh, Greed's going. I say easily the hardest character in the game, and a really great challenge. We roll into him next run. I'll do it. Isaac starts with a D6, so he's an awesome character for that. We can re-roll uh, boss rewards, item rooms, etc. with the D6. High chance of getting a cool build here. Hey, ZLZ, thanks for 140 bucks. I'm really glad you feel that way. It's been an awesome uh, day seven, 27, now 28 days of Ragmus for me as well. Thanks for being here. Yeah, we're gonna. Well, it is a luck up, I mean. Let's roll that, though. <laughs> Regenerate health slowly in a health up. Might roll that, too. Let's go ahead and clear a bit, though. Might regret not taking the luck there, but I doubt it. Hey, Danikino, I think that's a good observation that finding that swallowed penny on the keeper on an urn on the early floors is uh, one of the uh, the main ways to get a victory on keeper. Hey, my pleasure, medicated towel. Sit back, relax, enjoy, man. Cheers to you. All right, you know what, you crappy burbo? Get in my head. We're doing this. So it's Eve's starting item. We take damage. This bird's going to pop out now and uh, attack stuff, kind of. The dead burb has some of the worst AI in the game for pathing on enemies. But you know what? Damage is damage in a longer boss fight. It does... A little pecking. I guess what I'm trying to say is even though Bird is one of the weaker tier followers, it's still pretty darn good. 
once you take damage once, it's uh, it's out there forever. At least till the end of that room. Yeah, we're going to roll again here. Okay, shot speed up in a card. I guess that's what we get. Hey! All right, let's use that here. I think we'll have a chance for a god room next floor because we did this. We're going to see the deal and then turn it down. So we've seen a devil door technically now. We'll see if that is the case. Pretty awesome drop there. Yeah, we could have taken a gummy piece there. Let's give God a chance, huh? Two space prizes. We'd have to drop the D6. Okay, so apparently not. So you gotta see uh, a different devil room. Fair enough. So what I was thinking there is maybe we'd have a chance at uh, God room this floor since we saw that. But since that room didn't technically exist until we used the card... There's no other way other than the sacrifice room to enter the uh, the basement one devil deal. We learned something new. Joe Mumbley, thanks for that generous 50 bits, man. Mary Fragments to you, Narwhal Buffalo, welcome back to the Dapper. Thanks for making it official once again with Twitch Prime. Get out of here, buddy. Okay, Teleporter 2.0 can also get you to the uh, Devil Room on Floor 1. Good to know. That's the Golden Remote. We're going to re-roll Leo. We got Leo last time, and it's good and I'll be able to walk over rocks, but we can do better. Dude, that was a nasty thing. Why would you do that, man? Thanks, bird. Hmm. Gonna hold off on grabbing that soul heart here for a minute. Good job, Burb. We got two keys now. Let's open this. All right, bomb and a key and two coins. Water sure is some good stuff. Good job, Flies. Way to self-clear. Champions of the people, these guys. Maybe. Ain't no profit. Thanks for an awesome 21 months in a row. Really appreciate that. And Curly Beard 7. Thanks for a great nine. Glad you're enjoying Fragments, man. Thanks for being here tonight. Alright, little horn. I like regular little horns. He doesn't spawn uh, nothing but orbs. The flaming bomb variation is okay as well. I find the one that summons only orbs on an early floor to be uh, pretty difficult, though.
That's a really nice stat up. Will do. And look at that. We got the devil deal anyways. That one is better. Does that have black powder? Okay. Well, you got me there. We're going to take this. We're going to take this as well. Then we're going to eat our heart here. Some black hearts from that. Now we can fly. We have no red health. We may get red health again and lose flying, but we're going to roll here. All right. I've had a very similar experience with Little Horn uh, bombing himself on the base variation. What what a build we got here! What a build! Summarize health uh, briefly, PPL. The red hearts are containers that can be lost and then refilled with other red heart containers. So the black and uh, gray hearts are consider them like armor. They're a one-time use only. There's also bone hearts, which is interesting. Guess we're getting some devil deals then. Or like a three-hit soul heart, essentially, but can be refilled with red hearts. We have a maximum of 12, uh, 12 heart containers of any kind. Goathead's pretty good. We got a guaranteed devil deal uh, every floor. I mean, I'm not sold on taking Leo. Let's see if we get a battery here. Wow, okay. A chance to poison enemies and get black cards. Well, we're kind of short up for defense here. Now we got to get any offense at all. We're still at base tier rate and damage. Cool. Black hearts uh, work the same as soul hearts, except for they do room wide damage when they dissipate, which is awesome. Hey, Johnny Arco, nice to see you. So, enemy becomes poisoned and then dies with a chance to drop a black heart, like so. Pretty good. This kid needs a moist towelette bad. At least a napkin. Where's that vanity at? Mm -hmm. Cyclonus already. Thanks for 25 months in a row. Appreciate you. Hey, Kronz a lot. So many wonderful people here tonight. Okay, that's another crazy defensive item. We're going to not get that, though. We're going to try to roll that. Uh, scapular allows you to do uh, some cheese, but really the cheese you can pull off of the scapular is rarely relevant. If you get down to one half heart, it gives you a soul heart once per room. So like in an arcade situation or a demon beggar, if you were at low health already, you can go down to a half heart, leave the room, come back, rinse and repeat. This is definitely not a great build for the scapular because we're, you know, we're approaching critical mass for defensive items big time. Okay, I'll check. What do you got? A coupon. We can also re-roll here. Interesting. Yeah. Buying that coupon would make, uh, ooh, one thing free there. Yeah, one more charge here, then we'll fight the boss and start making some re-roll decisions. Dang, Cyclones, it's been 25 months already.
time just keeps on ticking so great to be here on or day 28 of fragments thanks for sharing this moment with me What you got, Horn? A lot of health, that's what you got. Dude, multidimensional baby, doing good there. Great job. Nice. Man, that shield on the, uh, the item that's giving us flying right now, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. It was the other devil deal we took that wasn't Guppy's Paw. Pretty solid. Random shield means we can ram stuff for poison damage. <laughs> Empty vessel. Thanks, Medicaid Tell. Rochambeau27. Thanks for 17 months in a row, sir. Enjoy that, Lurk. That went well, slow, but fair. What you got, Satine? All right, stuff. Cool one, Satan. Nice one. Ah, black heart and bombs. Don't really want that either. We can bomb for some batteries for sure. Let's just take another one here. I want to take another stab at this. All right, little Steven, you're one third of the conjoined transformation. He shoots a homing tear. I think Steven's a pretty all right guy. Hey, there's another good follower. This fires uh, our, our tears as well. So as our damage scales up, so does uh, uh, the blue headed follower. It also gains any tear effects that we have. So if we have homing tears, it has homing tears, etc. Honestly, little Steve in the first slot is just like added damage. If you're at base damage, just adding little Steve uh, really gives you that little bit of extra oomph you need. Not to mention his tears homing, so it finds its target uh, more often. Okay, then. Serpent's Kiss is such a powerful health generator. Just like that. Yes, little Steven is part of the Conjoined Transformation, 100%. Conjoined Transformation gives you uh, tears firing also at 45 degree angles, so you have uh, three tear streams instead of one. It's pretty nice. It's got a very limited follower pool that you can get to receive it, but hey. Okay, what was down here? Scapular, right. Chance to get invincibility when hit, all right. Virgo also makes all pills in the pool uh, neutral or good. So if a tears down pill was in the pool, it's now a tears up. Pretty nice effect. Kind of tempted to buy a key here and bomb buy another key to go to that two key room. Oh man, humbling bundle is pretty good though. Okay, we can get this here. Hold on a sec. We got a blood donation machine right here. Yeah, it's a hidden effect of Virgo. It'll still say unidentified. You're no longer going to get bad pills when you have uh, Virgo. Temperance. 
Don't blow up on me here. You're doing great, machine. You're doing great. Totally willing to go with some hearts here because why not? We got Serpent's Kiss and we got all these shielding things that can happen. There's a lucky penny. Okay, let's... That's enough right there. We're going to take this uh, lucky penny right here. We're going to go back and buy the humbling bundle. And why this is so darn cool is because all those coins that are on the ground now become double coins. Look at that. I'm going to buy uh, this here. I'm going to buy the battery as well. And then we're going to roll this again. The Lucky Penny has a green sheen to it, is how we were able to tell. I'm going to buy keys here. And a Balls of Steel pill. I was hoping we get a shield here, and we did. The green sheen on the, uh, on the coins is in the game with Booster 5 as well on PC. That was a mod that was permanently added to the game in the form of booster pack. That's great. Double stuff from chests. That's good. Uh, let's go one more. It's been a good run through the store here, if I don't say so myself. Oh, 7 cent BFF. Yes, make my followers double the size. Give them the old double size. Uh, Slayer Knight 451 uh, Afterbirth Plus adds Steam Steam Workshop mod support to the game. It's 100% something you want if you're going to buy the other DLCs. Four room uh, reroll stuff on pedestals. I can't believe I didn't see that sooner. I wish we could have. Debating if I want to try to get another item on the ground here. I think we're just going to leave with what we got. I'm just going to get out of here. Going down. Personally, I take any review uh, anywhere with a grain of salt. Everybody that writes review has a perspective that they're writing the review from behind. I think we're uh, finally in the age where there's so much information available uh, about games and just being able to watch them decide if you're going to enjoy them for yourselves. I can happily say I only play games that I fully enjoy and endorse uh, here on my live stream. I never looked, really looked to reviews. Of course, it was like, uh, you know, overwhelmingly negative reviews. There's probably something up there, but... Man. I usually watch a trailer, uh, watch somebody play for a few minutes and go, I'm gonna like that, or I don't. Personally, for me, I think it's the best way to go. And it's honestly one of the reasons that I don't run a review-style broadcast anymore. I just playing games I enjoy is a lot simpler, and finding them isn't that hard either. You just gotta keep your eyes up. Yeah, poison all the things. Make them real sticky. Man, that shield is potent with the serpent's kiss. Uh, the internet is just internet is so just inundated with people's opinions about all sorts of things, every game and situation. I just like to decide for myself. Makes me feel a lot better. Mm. What Prixie said, I think, is also very true. Vol Sparkle, welcome the damper, dude. Thanks so much for that prime support. Really appreciate you.
Look at all these black hearts, though. If you have full hearts and you have soul heart containers left, the black heart can uh, take over that uh, soul heart. It was basically an upgrade. We're totally gonna get some damage here. Maybe this floor, maybe. Whoa, don't do that. That wasn't very nice. This feather trinket we just picked up, we find an angel statue room, like in the super secret or off a sack room or something like that. Uh, we can get a god item from the uh, from the angel instead of a key piece. Pretty nice. Oney Woodle Poop. Thanks for 27 consecutive months. Appreciate that, man. Little hand to you, dude. Okay, I think we got our item room yet this floor, did we? Certainly did not. Hey there, Chubb. You're a pretty easy uh, boss here. I'll take it. Why were my tears getting pulled diagonally down like that? Was it me? Get him, Burb. Okay, well then, that is quite the dealio there, Mr. Stanley. We don't need Dark Bum. Let's, uh, let's get, try to give him a roll. Uh, my Shadow, probably not. That door is going to stay open since we have uh, the Goat Head, so we could re-roll that again. Size are always nice. And we get that double damage, double size scythe from our follower now. And hey, Trek Gold, what's good, man? Hope you're having a great evening. Secretly, your bay. Thanks for keeping it damper. Lurkers number one, glad they've been a good two months of viewing for you. Thanks for sharing that. Alright, definitely want this. And we'll take the battery too. We're gonna bomb this guy. Hey! Sorry about that. Oh, secret room. Maybe I'm not that sorry. Book of Secrets can do quite a few different things. Can reveal the map. It can show secret rooms and... Uh, what else? Give map reveal, I think. Yeah, we sure can, War Bovine. That's exactly what we're about to do. You're one step ahead of me, sir. How's he doing? Now that we have an item to reroll in the Seeker room, this is even better. So if you have a heart container, when you enter the Devil deal, that three soul heart deal is going to be one heart instead. Okay, we didn't lose flying. Cool. Oh, there. We lost our flying, so we have a red heart container now. Um, I think we're going to roll again. Okay, we'll take the Void. We well, can just pull the D6 onto the void right here. Actually, do we want to do we want to avoid the D6 or not? I'm not convinced. I think if you avoid the D6, it rolls and then eats the item. Or does it happen in the other order? Yeah, avoiding D6 is a really awkward situation. I want to keep my reroll capability at least for now. I knew I remember that one being weird. Twitch way. Thanks for an awesome three months, dude. Really appreciate that.
Okay, I'm gonna bomb these guys. I mean, steam sales possible here. Okay, we can also get giant coin tiers. I guess our size have a chance to be uh, generate coins now. It's nice. Yeah, that's why I was worried about debuting, because if it rolls and then each, you get a bad space for item like Kamikaze or, you know, forbid like a Plan C or something that actually kills you. You never know. Hey, that's two out of three conjoined transformation. We're almost conjoined uh, fully here. Awesome. Get roasted. Uh, Triforce Club, any shopkeep that has coins in his eyes will have a much higher chance of dropping coins when you blow it up. Can we do two of clubs? All right, then. Yeah, I think that's enough of those shenanigans. Pretty good floor, man. Hey, what do you do? Verp, all right. Verping that balls of steel pretty good. Yeah, I mean, our build's all right right now. I think we're going to take the void just to get stats. D6 has been nice. We have a functioning build now with two out of three can join, so... I don't know. D6 is a better chance, but the D6's uses are going to come to an end here in a few floors. And Void uh, is going to continue to scale well. XSV21, thanks for seven months in a row. Appreciate that prime support. I feel like they made batteries out of uh, the sacks a lot less common, which is probably a good thing. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna pass on that. More balls of steel, nice. Get him, got him, good. Kind of weird having flying without the uh, the spectral. Tears still get stopped by rocks here. So we actually have an exclam void command in the chat. We'll verbally go over this as well. Our space bar item in the top left, the void, can uh, make Another space for our items affect permanent on the void, so if we uh, use it on, like, let's say, a Book of Revelations or the game kit here, which we might as well. And touch this. Now, every time we use the void, we're going to get the, the game kit effect. If you use it on non-space for item, you get two random stat ups. So you can get, like, damage and shot speed. You can get range and tier rate. You can get double damage. Lots of good stuff. Ah, feels nice to be over here, floating over this gap. Darn, we just got an eternal heart. That's okay. Gonna lose our flying if we uh, gain the red hearts. We do have goat heads, so losing that heart is inevitability.
A blank card's pretty good. We'll add that into the void here. This allows us to use a card multiple times. I think we're just going to keep that on the uh, on the void here. I'm not going to take blank card. We need to save the void here. No, we have Goathead. Okay, then the door is going to close on us. It's not. Hey, little, little Gish can join the, the follower train here. Crazy good follower to get there. So, Incubus uh, also fires our tears. Now we have another tear stream. We got super uh, mediocre tear rate. But look at all this stuff we're firing. Nice time for invincibility shield there. I'll take it. All right, we'll warp up that uh, balls of steel again. What a combo. Verb gives you the last pill that you previously took. In this case, balls of steel for two soul hearts. Most excellent. All we need is just a little bit of tear right here to get to uh, complete slamage. Teleport you to the shop. I will clear this. So we got what? Brother Bobby, uh, Sister Maggie, Mongo Baby, and a couple others for conjoined that I can't think of right now. Blood donation. Okay, I mean we can use that multiple times using the void, and we have the unicorn horn effects. It's a pretty pretty good uh, combo here. We'll start that train on the next floor. Ah, yes, Headless Baby's in there as well. Merry Fragments to you, Rufus. Hope you're having a good one, man. Let's fix up this look here. There's that kid we know and love. All I needed was a mirror. Alright, now we have a Red Heart, so we, are, we lost our flying ability. We can get that back this floor, easy peasy. Ah, the bean. I see. Bean's a really awesome uh, early game item. There's an AoE poison cloud, which does pretty decent damage. Alright, here we go. Okay there, poops. Calm down. All 
Uh, Disco Fever, the way the Eternal Hearts use, uh, are, are used, if you have any red heart containers, they'll be at the front of those. So if we had one red heart container and an Eternal Heart, we could hit the uh, Temperance Machine to lose it. But if we have only Soul Hearts and the Eternal Heart, the Eternal Heart would be the last thing to go. Hey, Sly448, thanks for two consecutive months. Glad you've been enjoying Fragments. That's really wonderful. Sounds like we got ourselves a deal. Okay. The baby train is so real right now. Ex extra big babies, too. Oh, we just got the IV bag there. I think we'll still take damage when we use that, unfortunately. But Or not? Oh, I didn't touch the last IV bag, so it spawned again. I wonder if we use that if it does a uh, does a double. Well, generating money is certainly not bad. And I think the unicorn effect procs first. This is a weird one. So what we're gonna do when we get a charge, we're gonna go back to the arcade. Oh, hello, sir. Revenge Fly is a badass. That's kind of a win condition right there, especially with BFF. That's big old damage. We get a roll here, we're gonna go back to the arcade, we're gonna drop it again and see if we get um, damaged for using our void. And then we're gonna hopefully do it even again after that and see if we get uh, damage twice for having two IV bags eaten. Time for some sweet science. I think we're definitely going to still take damage from the IV bag. I agree, O'Brien in Japan. As if you have like a shield up and you start slamming the IV bag, it still takes your red hearts. So I don't think we're getting out of that. I am very curious to see if multiple IV bags is going to stack for a full damage underneath invincibility, though. Let's find out. Okay, we definitely still took damage there. I don't know. Do I want to? Do I want to take take that or nah? I could eat it for stats. Let's eat it for stats. So it's been an exceptionally long floor. Uh, definitely persisted for longer than I thought it was going to. This is kind of what blank card does. It gets you to cheese some stuff. You can also buy some stuff at the store here. It's going to be great. Yes, Drogan. Uh, items are activated in the order they are absorbed. Hey, there's something to get rid of my health there. And if I'm not mistaken, that can be voided, right? Oh, hell, we got a battery on the floor. Let's check it out. Okay, it can. So now we can get flying back. And every time we eat a heart container that way, uh, we also gain... Hey, another follower. Right, every time we do that, we also gain uh, a small damage up 0.3. Being able to hold two cards here with that... Blank card, pretty good. Uh, 
Um, we have no item rooms left, so that's kind of a dead item there. Yeah, I want compass. Let's go back for a little more, a little more stuff here. Now we're gonna see if we take a full damage when you use the void. So I did not pay attention on that last one. Yes, Game Kit does activate before the IV bag lays your rain, but the IV bag is a special exception to invincibility frames and will do damage through them. Was it a full heart? I don't think so. I think it was only half. Oh, yeah, that was a full heart, wasn't it? Okay, we're going to go back, get one more battery, then we're going to... Actually, you know what? I should take these, because we can use these for cubes of meat and get a full meat man. All right, well, duly noted in the uh, woman below, when we activate the void, we're going to take, I think, two full hearts of damage. That's tough. But it's still all right. We're slamming and jamming. There's going to be a big old meat man, too. You know it. Seems good. Darn, I wish I had one more battery charge here. Yeah, it's a little off. Just a little bit. A few pixels there, kid. No big deal. Get roasted. Oh, mom. Don't you know you're just going to get stumped? Go Polaroid here. Let's see what's in the devil deal. Krampus, how you been? Nice last just effort there, man. Darn, we're not going to be able to quite uh, void inside. Oh, never mind. I'll say the boss rush, but it got us there. Ooh, they're two pretty bad items, though. I mean, I have no doubt we can finish Boss Rush, it's just... I guess Mom's pill bag is what we're going to take here. Better than Teleportation Remote. And we'll just hold off on Voiding here until the end. We also got champion, uh, champion boss rush here. I'd say champion boss rush is preferred because it's taking damage here for revenge fly. The champion bosses will drop health a lot of the times, depending on uh, which variation they are. Definitely helpful for us. Way to be, monstro! You're the real champ. Man, that BFF Revenge Fly is crazy. Uh, 
That's a pretty rad sped up song, man. Oh, frail, I'm sorry. Your poor segmented body stood no chains. By God, watch out for those boulders. Somebody's got to clean up this mess and it's not going to be me. Ragos, triple six. Thanks for two months in a row. Much love. Little hand to you, man. Hope you're having a great night. If X and Y. Thanks for a great 43 months as well. Lurker's number one, dude. Cruising on up on four years. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. You know, sure. Sure, you betcha. Oh, that's right. Since we have, um... Since we have the, the card holder, we get a card instead of a pill off of Mom's pill bag. So I've got an ace of spades here. Seems good. Let's get out of here, though. It was a nice, a nice run. Full mapping. Probably better than the Temperance at this point. Going down. Hey, Lil Edson. What's happening? Temperance does not drop items in the chest. That would be uh, the beggars. Actually, did that one two nights ago. No item. Who's the boss? Daddy Long Legs. What you doing? Okay, I'll take the cat. And I believe we're gonna eat in this room. Yeah, that does that does a hurt. That does a hurtin'. So okay, look at our extra large meat man now. Way to be extra meaty, friend. going down. Hey, Thelm619, thanks for 35 consecutive months, one away from that Hall of Fame. Glad you still continue to enjoy the con. That's really wonderful to hear. Thanks for being here tonight and sharing that. Oh, yeah, we might as well. All right. Contract from below could be nice here. No, I don't know about that. A little bit late. It does give us more items, though. Alright, let's go ahead and pop this uh, Ansa's rune. 
Night. Oh, those boulders, man. Pretty good. Pretty nice boulder you got there. That's the stuff. Ghost Haven 15. Thanks for keeping down for the past seven months. Appreciate that, Prime Love. This huge thank you to those that do uh, subscribe and resubscribe with Twitch Prime. It's a huge part of why this channel is full time. For 1,852 shows as of tonight. It's nothing but love. Really appreciate that consideration. Mama, what you got? Nice. All right, I think we're gonna take contract here. Uh, contract from below. Hey, hey, we got tier right there. Excellent. Sorry, to finish my thought there. Uh, contract from below will double drops that happen, so if a chest drops inside the chest, it's going to drop two of them instead for double items. Going down. That tier rate up was a significant upgrade for us. Uh, it's explosion immunity, so yes, please. Ooh, sack dagger, yes. BFF sack dagger at that. All right, let's donate here. All right. Definitely don't need those bombs. Try to grab some more stats here. Got more luck. Nice. It's actually really huge. Uh, Cramjock, the ability to fast donate was added in booster number five on PC. It also removes the ability to uh, cheese the donation with the blue hourglass. A fair trade-off, you ask me. All right, we're going to take one damage here on Hush just to unleash the Revenge Fly. Revenge Fly alone can really wreck this fight. Oh, guys, happy to say, I wanted to wait a little bit to talk about it, but maybe starting uh, a full playthrough of Darkest Dungeon uh, tomorrow for the new DLC. There's no way we're going to finish it before Fragmas. We can get a lot of our uh, early prep done and get our run set up for the return from the vacation after Fragmas. Excited to get a, a new save started for the new DLC and check it out. I'm looking forward to it. We'll get our initial setup done in the first three days and uh, be ready to rock when we get back. We're going to do it on not Blood Moon difficulty so we can actually fight all the bosses and experience all the things the game has to offer. There's still stuff I have not done in Darkest Dungeon as far as uh, seeing bosses and whatnot. And the uh, time limit of Blood Moon really diminishes your capability to see all the things. Looking forward to trying out some uh, really wacky uh, crew combinations and see what we can do.
Alexandria, thanks for 100 bits. Appreciate that generosity. Yeah, buddy. So thank you all for everything you do to make the content possible. I never feel like I can thank you guys enough for the wonderful opportunity that is to stream here on Twitch TV. Okay, Hush, but you can pop up. I know, I'm wrecking you, but you should just pop up. We'll just talk about it. Let's talk about it. Oh, I can poison you. I gotcha. There you go. Worked out nice. Going up. Yeah, that guy's got to die last. He's the eternal champion. Good for him. I can be one of the tougher champions in the game, in my opinion. Sometimes you get a room layout where there's like a spawner or something, and then killing that enemy last becomes quite tough. That room, though, easy peasy. Hey, good evening, Glorious Bees. Uh, in this case, O'Brien, the Game Kid effect would happen first since we avoided the Game Kid before the Chariot, or before the Blank Car. It is possible, though, we get a longer duration um, Chariot, though. Let's see here. Well, no. We'd still take the damage. I don't think it'd be double duration. I think it would just be uh, the game kit effect with the chariot effect applied directly afterwards. Okay, nice shot though, Death. Good, good job. Six luck should get us some item drops inside the chest. Nice, get stabby time, kid. Toast, that's a welcome back to the damper. Thanks for that prime support. You rock. Good evening, Langley Fox. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, 1.5 times damage multiplier. Okay. All right, we'll double double down here. Seems good. Get roasted. Rerolls all items there. Let's take this as well. Hey, that's a follower. We'll take it. All right, damage got about doubled here. Awesome. Okay, we'll take the soul here. Oh, yeah, we slam. Look at the size of those boulders, man. There's so many more tier 8 up items we can get on this run. We're a few items away from something really ridiculous. It's a pretty cool follower we got there off that uh, box of friends. Get roasted. Brownie Double Dingle, that's crazy, man. Okay, there's our opportunity to eat. Did we eat those items though? I think we did. Yeah, okay. We got plenty of hearts elsewhere on the floor. We can clean up afterwards if they don't drop. And with eight luck, they'll be dropping pretty frequently, I think. No, you know, why not? Let's, let's, let's eat it up. We got tier rates, and now Monstrous slams down each time we use our space for item. Awesome. Oh, that's an eat, too, if we get a battery. A bean for a bean, you don't say. <laughs> Debating if we want to use the Suicide King here or not. I don't think we have the health resource on the floor to use it. But with nine lives, I mean, it's a possibility. Yeah, let's just put it down for now. Ember's card's nice. Suicide King drops a bunch of stuff on the floor, but also kills you. So it's a, it's a trade-off with nine lives and our ability to generate black hearts here. It wouldn't have been a terrible thing to use, but if we could have used it like three or four times in a single room, uh, that's when it would have been really powerful. 
Okay, got a couple items left to eat here, then we'll grab those black hearts and then make our way into the void. All right, we got some more tier in two shot speed. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I have faith we're going to get conjoined here inside of the uh, Delirium 4. I got faith. Get roasted. All right, here on the delirium floor, uh, any boss can drop any item. That's a pretty cool effect. And we're going to find the delirium boss fight on one of these boss doors. Minimum you can get is four, and max is eight. I think that's eight. That's eight. Hey, it wasn't Delirium right off the bat. The Delirium floor is going to be a 2x2 two two boss rush style room. But it's going to show as a 1x1. One one. Alright, more shot speed. Just what the doctor ordered. The Delirium boss fight happens in a room this size, but... It will not show that way. Yeah, nice, nice heart gain in room. Here it is. How you doing? Delirium. We got not quite all the tier we wanted, but most of it. Look at those boulders. The damage is pretty good, man. GG. That run had a lot of cool followers, man. Never got that conjoined, but, uh, you know, a solid follower run. Went from 7 to 16 damage on one floor and felt pretty good from that point on. Good game, well played.
GG. What a great run that was. All right, everybody, before we head into the next run, I'm going to take a very short break here to stand and stretch my legs, and I encourage you to do the same during just about uh, two minutes or so to resume the fun. Enjoy the sleepy K during break time. We'll be right back. Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks so much for your patience during that short intermission. Let's hop on in to another run. Time to spin that wheel of children. Darn sight, what, what bad pills did you get on your run? Okay, lost run. You know what? They gave us the keeper first, and I mulliganed into Isaac. So this is only fair that we play the lost. The loss is a character uh, which only has zero health. You have no health for the entirety of your whole uh, loss run. What you do have, however, is the Holy Mantle. So you can take one damage every room, but on your second damage in the room, uh, you did. All right, Thunder Thighs would slow us down, so probably not going to take that. Also, it diminishes the defensive capabilities of having Flying Spectral Tears. 
Man, look at all this love rolling in. Clark in nine. Thanks for three months in a row, sir. To time. Thanks for a huge 21 months as well. Just a few more for two years. Freaking amazing. I just can't thank you all enough for all that you do to make this content uh, a sustained reality. Six and a half years down and uh, no end in sight. So thanks for the wonderful opportunity. Okay, this is not uh, not a great item, but you know what? We're going to take it. Even if we get a re-roll here, that re-roll would be used up on the Thunder Thighs inside of the, um, inside of the Crawl Space. Hey, if you want my advice, I just keep taking those pills, man, because while winning every run, uh, your percentage chance is higher if you don't take pills, you're going to get a tears up pill sooner rather than later, or a speed up pill, which will help you out. The current music mod we're using is a mashup of the original Isaac, Rebirth, Afterbirth, and Anti-Birth. It has a really huge variety. Okay, our first luck up is nice. I used to almost never take pills. I've been playing Isaac for a long time here on Twitch since uh, summer 2012. I believe I was the first person to ever attempt uh, a win streak. My first one went to 104 wins. Ancient history there. But I would not take pills while doing win streaks because if you get an early speed down or tears down, it can be run ending. But now I take every pill I see, and I gotta say, I think it's the funner way to play. And you will eventually get a great pill set that will carry the run for you. It's gonna happen. Even if you have like tears down or uh, speed down in the pool, you can find PhD. Virgo, as we saw last run. What's tough about uh, Afterbirth Plus now, I think, especially if you're a newer player coming in, is with the boosters, they add a lot of tougher rooms. But I don't think any of the rooms that are in the game right now are really unfair, but uh, especially through the caves, like Flooded Caves, there's some real... There's some real dodging challenges. Okay, speed up, awesome. What's this pill do you think? Speed down, that's what I'm talking about. I think that one of the coolest things you can get a lot of is like one make you smaller. Get a really, really tiny character. I'm currently playing with a uh, wired Xbox 360 controller. That's correct, QD. You need Afterbirth Plus to enable the Steam Workshop uh, mod support. Okay, so the Lost can't enter these spike rooms without dying because he's got the Holy Mantle, but if we take any damage inside this room, that's it. Hey, Gigapuff, congratulations on your first hell birth in Spelunky. That's a huge accomplishment. <laughs> Unidentified pill, not for long. Health up that we don't actually have made us slightly redder, though. Now we got shaky eyes and looks slightly mad. Dark rocks are diminished on the loss since you can't take the health and soul hearts are the main draw from dark rocks. You don't uh, usually use your bomb resource on those.
Now, any time during this lost run, we could easily just run into a nasty room and die. We're going to try not to do that and use our defensive capability of hovering over rocks and firing to our advantage. This room's totally safe with the, uh, with the lost if you want to hug the wall. With Flying Spectral, there's a safe solution in most rooms. I won't say all, because that's definitely not the truth. I just want to find my item room first, that's all. Okay, there it is. See, if he touches me, we we're dead there. But we lived. Oh, I see, we got no key there. Well, I guess we're going to go to that combat room then, after the boss room, though. See what kind of combat room this is, in fact. Double golden key. Well, maybe not then. There's quite a few places that the secret room could be. Mm -hmm. Well, we might not get our... Uh our item room here, it's possible. There's actually a couple boss items that could drop a key. Still got devil deal here though. Hey, I'm not going to be sad about a 1.5 times damage multiplier. Whatever was in the item room, that makes up for it. Mm -hmm. I already checked there for a super secret. Where is it going to be? It's got to be south here. Drop keys when picking up coins. Well, we're not getting a key this floor, but our key woes are just about over. Nice find. The really great part about the magic mushroom we picked up there is that uh, all further damage is applied to that 1.5 times damage multiplier. I believe Rise, we're going on break. Four than more. Thanks for 14 consecutive months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Sorry for not getting to you sooner. Yeah, damage feels better already. Okay, we can bomb into the item room here if we want to. killed me though pretty close spider enemies no longer target or deal contact damage to Isaac that sounds good 
Okay. Okay. Hey, it's Invicta. Thanks for that host, man. Hope you had a wonderful stream. You're having a great night. Hey, see you in a few, Invicta. Enjoy that dinner. Thanks everybody coming over from Sinvicta's channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome evening. What was Sinvicta playing today? Hmm. Reroll machine though. Let's go for a little journey. I kind of want to get a space per item here if possible so we're not uh, having the oh accidental chance of us d4 and out of our build but before that happens we're definitely buying that that allows us to infinitely buy from the store so we can generate lots of money which is always a possibility with certain combinations we can buy infinitely from the store oh most excellent it's like it was playing the newest darkest onion dlc good stuff I find restock to always complement pretty much any run. It's not gonna it's not gonna be a bad thing to have restock. Getting it this early is nice. We do have a lot of stores remaining to see. It's especially efficient like refilling health if you actually are playing a health character, since we're playing the loss and have no health. Uh, no relevance there, but our ability to buy multiple items is still very real. Let's fight the boss first. Okay, Cuba Meat's going to be uh, good here. It'll be even better if we get any invincibility so we can actually use it uh, more safely. On a character that actually has health, if we have a decent health pool, you know, I'm all about going crazy with that Cuba Meat and uh, doing a lot of orbital damage. But on a character that has only two health, uh, getting that close to the enemy on purpose just to speed up your damage is, is scary. Whoa there, buddy. The best thing about QB and the loss is it's one out of three projectile slots and uh, can uh, absorb incoming hits. <laughs> we want to randomly spawn poop or get extra keys. That's a tough choice. Ooh, one of my favorite combat rooms. That probably has the money in it that we need to get more items. Is rubber cement ever bad? Here's a situation where rubber cement's bad that I know from personal experience. If you throw uh, Bob's head, the explosive Bob, with rubber cement uh, into it while it bounces back and hits you. So Ipecac's not great. Throwing bombs isn't great for rubber cement. But rubber cement's one of my favorite items for wacky builds. It does pump up the wackiness by about five levels. All right, don't damage me, though. Oh, yeah, spiders don't hurt me anymore. Hey, fellas. Here's a space bar item. We're going to touch it. Uh, we're going to keep it, actually. We can never use Guppy's Paw of the Law since we'll never have a health pool. But it is one out of three of the Guppy transformation. And now, if I accidentally sausage finger my uh, right trigger, we won't reroll our entire build and lose the Holy Mantle.
Random coin every two rooms. There's some synergy with the uh, the restock. Slow and steady wins the race. Each combat room consists of three waves. If it's a boss combat room, it'll be two waves. Or two bosses. Oh man, is this run about to get enabled? I think it is. Alright, some coinage. Oh, there's some coinage. Okay. Now our tiers have a chance to drop money when we hit. That's great. It's not going to get us another item uh, on this floor, but further floors? Yes, please. I'm going to go ahead and bomb this. I'm going to give me a nickel, right? Hey, two coins. I'll take that. Abel's so much better than he used to be. Uh, Abel used to just fire uh, in the cardinal direction. At least fires towards your character now. He's a real gent. Oh, I will. I'll do a little more clearing here, just a smidge. That's got to be super secret. Okay. Well, it doesn't have to. You know, I wanted it to be. Hmm. Maybe it can be here. If it's not here, I'm going to stop using bombs. Ooh, yeah. This is the stuff right here. Okay, I think if you push the chest uh, on the side of this guy, they might open. Let's try this out. Let's try this out here. This is great, because we might actually get in the threshold to buy an item here. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. Well, yes, I would like a 100% uh, Devil Angel Room chance. And in fact, open the door here if it wasn't open. And there it is. Now we can take Devil Deals for free as the Lost. And the question is, is this worth it here? Do we want to sell out our soul for the ability to create pentagrams on the ground? And a little bit of speed? I think Stanley can do better than that. I mean, getting the guaranteed room could get some top tier items. Bless you. Man, we didn't quite get that cash amount we wanted either. That's okay. We're going to bomb here. Oh. I'd like to get that, but... Just not in the cards, this one. See you next time, Stan. Try offering better goods. That's all I'm saying. All right, it's more than likely worth. Not yet, though. Not yet. Take that, Spudemans. Whoa, buddy. Calm down there. Camo guy almost touched me. Mm 
Man, this flat penny is going to be such a, a huge piece on this run. There we go. There's that ghostly kid we know and love. I was going to use a cube meat there, but money potential, man. Just flick some coins at him. Okay, portals. Four of those. A little bit extreme, though, don't you think? I mean, four of the same thing. What kind of portal are you? Okay, there's, uh, there's that. Prefer not to die, thanks. Holy mantle's gone now, so the next hit would kill us. But we good. Oh, okay. Now, using a temperance machine or a demon beggar kills us immediately here. We're going to go ahead and bomb uh, these two guys. And you're next if you don't give up a good item. Just saying, I'll be back. Look at all these pills for me to take. Full health, nice. Infested, okay. Balls of steel. That would have been like, it's really sick if this character had health. The best pills possible. What's going on, spiders? I get it. You don't do touch damage. We're safe here. I get it. The Joker card is okay, I guess. We could hold on to this till way later, but probably won't. BFF. Okay, well, I'm going to grab that for sure. Present's also a nice one. We're not able to use Guppy, so let's uh, drop this in maybe a God or Devil room. Hey, I really want that item there. Let's double boss item rewards, because better choices. I wish Dr. Fetus was scaling well with this current build, but it's not. Blueberry man, thanks for a legendary 42 months in a row. You found yourself the answer. Little hand to you.
Man, the second trinket slot's nice, but so is damage. What's happening? All right, we're going to take this right here for sure. Double or less, use this right here. Okay, well, that's uh, one less item in the pool. I'm going to go ahead and bomb here. Oh, I don't have bombs. Never mind. You, you live this time, Angelman. I got to take the damage. I love double trinket slots, but hey. The loser boy. Welcome to the damper. Little hand to you. Thanks so much for that prize support. Appreciate making it official. Just thanks so much for that consideration. Oh, uh, it's a double stone chest room. Hold on, we got we got one more thing we're gonna do. I'm gonna buy the bomb, do the battle room. So it was double stone chest. It'll probably allow us to grab that one too, and maybe equal another item. PMZ 465. Thanks for making it official with Twitch Prime, man. So much love tonight. So many new and returning subs. Just thank you for the wonderful opportunity to be here on show number 1852 and day 28 of Fragments. What a wonderful night it is. Oh, Mega Fatty. That's gross. That's gross. Don't do that. People don't like when you spit. What was hitting him there? Oh, the purple fly did something decent with his life. Oh god, Ma, this close range. Be gone, fiend. That's scary. And a chest, what's in there? There's a bomb in there. Turned out nice. Um, we can put this down for the paw, which we're gonna do. This would also one shot us if we used it. I don't like being one sausage finger away from death. Nobody does. Mortis, thanks for 24 consecutive months in this two years. I was about to say welcome to that slug life, but welcome to that NG life, sir. Thanks for being a part of the channel community for so long, man. E mind Mary, welcome the Dapper. Little hand to you for an Cliff and third. Welcome back to the Dapper. Thanks for making it official once again with Twitch Prime. You rock. All right, I'm out of here. We could go bomb the other beggar. I was gonna leave him there though. I told him I'd be back, and I'm not gonna come back. Here's the thing. Hey, good evening, Echo Find. What's happening? Wow, that dime too. That's some good stuff. Very lucrative fight. Unlock golden chests without keys. I mean, that's nice, but... This will be uh, kind of an upgrade to what we currently have. It won't generate more keys, but we won't lose any opening golden chests, which is really where uh, your keys can get stalled.
Another luck up, Penny. Nice. Dancing with death there, kid. Calm down. I approve this. Enjoy those emails, community, and to Zar Dross. Welcome. Or thanks for that gift, sir. Welcome to Damper. I approve this. Keybagger might have had some value on the previous floor. I agree with that, with all the uh, keys we ended up getting and the key return on the flat penny. Though I say that, I know every time we use the keybagger, it doesn't work out, except that one or two times it did. Okay, there we go. Holy shot by the holy light. Already got three luck here, so holy shots will happen. Holy shots have a pretty darn good AoE on them. Sir Lancelot, thanks for that gift, and Captain Bond, welcome the Dapper. Enjoy the emotes and community, man. Much love. Oh, Smelter, this solves our trinket problem. Sackhead. Yeah, okay. Another friend here, I'll take it. Ooh, yes, I would like that. So when you have restock and something's half off, it's uh, half off for every purchase. Pretty darn good. The scary part is we're still only one small little whoopsie away from death, as we will always be for the rest of this run. Smelter's awesome, though, because now we can collect multiple trinkets onto our persons. Wait, it's only depths one, so we'll fight our boss before we head back down. Can at least see what our god and or devil deal is going to be. Alright, there's a battery. Sticky nickel, maybe not, but we do have that half-off item in the store. Well, it's not a good item right now, it could become one. Yeah, yeah, BOGO bombs here. The bombs are gonna sort themselves out pretty quickly. We can even use bombs in the store if we wanted to cycle further through the pool. Identified pill, what do you do? Retrovision, okay. Gonna go back to the menu, continue in to remove the retrovision effect. Good old Horfin. Man, we're already back up to 51 coins. That's pretty nice. Taste sweet name, when you have flying on any character, the entrance to a spike room will not cause damage, but the exit will. 
So the Lost can enter any of those rooms for free, but cannot exit for free. So we use the Holy Mantle damage uh, to absorb that. That's why we cannot, for under any circumstances, take damage inside of the uh, inside of the spike room. In this case, if we took damage inside the spike room, we'd be forced to use the Joker card to refresh our Holy Mantle. Exceeded. Thanks for 31 consecutive months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. It's a few away from that Hall of Fame. And Paramac, thanks for an awesome 17. One away from that year and a half. That love is real. We got Champion. Oh, buddy. I'm going to teleport myself out of there. Win dead, revive as Lazarus, plus one extra item. Nice. We're going to take that. Now, I'm not going to try to die on this run, but at least we have one out now. If we do die, we resurrect as Lazarus inside the same room as well. We'll be right back in the boss room we re-enter. It might not be Champion Brownie. We'll see. Alright, key piece complete. Okay, it is Champion Brownie again. Thank you for doing Holy Light there, man. Not doing that crazy attack you were about to. That went a lot better. Hmm. Gonna bomb here. Ooh, Diplo's a nice one to hold. I can double any item. I think we can drop Smelter here, as nice as Smelter is. Diplo is gonna net us something great, I'm sure. Mr. Me? You wanna steal that for me, Mr. Me? There you are. Steal that. Oh, you brought me that instead. Okay, thanks, buddy. Deep Pocket says two cards or pills. Broken Stopwatch is where this party stops. Zeratic TV, welcome to the damper. Thanks so much for that Twitch Prime support. Really appreciate that consideration. Nothing but love. Can only hope to show you guys as much love as you show me. I'm so glad to be here today on day 28 of Fragments. Going down. That's right, would have been, uh, you dad. After smelting a trinket, it becomes a permanent effect. So we have open gold chests for free and chance to drop a key every time we pick up a coin. So our keys are 100% sorted now. Okay, what do you do? All right, hematemesis. That's like free health, man. Dang. I like this item a lot, but it ain't right right now. Oh, that's really awesome. We're still uh, so close to that new emo slot. Thanks for the update, Prixie. Less than one hundo away with three days of fragments to go. Oh, I don't want to die, though. This room's very spoopy. Oh. 
triple retrovision. What are they trying to tell me? Oh, that I'm unlucky. I get it. I get it. Destrina, thanks for 62 months in a row. That's five years in climbing. Much love. And Thanatos94, thanks for seven consecutive months. Time sure does fly. Thanks for being a part of it. Get out of here. Be a crazy turret. What was that tear effect that did that? Man, well, this allows us to cycle through trinkets and get better trinket choices. Vista Maria, welcome the Dapper and Cheesy Bob. Thanks so much for that gift, sir. Guys, generosity knows no bounds. Maybe if we want to use Diplo or where we want to use Diplo in this situation, we could try it for boss rush. Though I don't think this is really a boss rush style build. Wombologist, welcome back to the Dapper. Little hand to you, friend. Thanks for making it official again. Huh? All right, Key Beggar here could be uh, big money, no whammy. He's got crazy key generation, so let's just do this. There's no reason we should need any of these keys. Well, I want some of the keys, Key Beggar. I didn't mean to say that out loud. I'm sorry. Okay. He knew. This guy knew. He's like, you're not going to cheat the system. Not on my watch. He must have not been feeling well, only taking 10 keys there. Okay, we do have a battery here. I think we're going to power play uh, into this. Let's see here. What we get. That's, that's not what we wanted. Ooh, safety scissors, not bad. There we go. There's a top tier boss killer. We go even further trying to get some tier rate, but I think we're just going to go here. Mr. Mr. What? Welcome to the damper. Thanks so much for that prime support, man. All right, let's see if this is a lucky penny up here. Good call, Prophet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop this Pandora's box as well for the coin ups. Certainly, this won't be bad. Okay, awesome. Now we can carry both. This worked out uh, better than expected. We've got the backpacks. Now we can carry uh, Diplo here. And we can carry the box so we can generate uh, more trinkets now. We can hold on to that Diplo for the perfect situation. In the meantime, 
try to fish for uh, cancer and broken crown trinkets. The one thing this run has not gotten is any uh, Tirana. What you got, God? Okay, that was Flying Spectral Tears. That's great. Except for guess what we already got? Flying Spectral Tears. Got Seraphim, though. Hey, awesome, Mr. Mr. One. That's awesome to hear. Thanks for making it official. Alright, let's see what's in here. We're probably not going to. We could dip low these four items and take them. Uh, okay, not in this situation. We don't have the stats for Libra, I wish. Okay, let's see what we get in here. Look at that booger coin. Booger him up real good. Don't be a jerk. You know you're you're doing it though. You're being a jerk. Mm -hmm. Look at all that cashola. Hookworm, probably not. Rib of Greed is... Okay, no good here since we're on depths too. Lunch sack, probably not. Red Patch is okay. Bible Tracts. Duct Tape. Just one more though, you know. It's a great uh, black heart generator. Fair enough, we're rolling through the trinket pool. going down Dragoonius little hand to you friend thanks so much for that prime support appreciate you making it official man so much love tonight so many new and returning subs it's incredibly grateful just to be here today for show number 1852 I gotta say, we still got uh, four shows left, including tonight and our first annual Summer Fragments. This will be our fourth annual Winter Fragments, December 1st through 31st this year. Uh, it's been a smashing success. I've had a great time every stream so far, and uh, looking forward to the rest of the moments we get to share here before we take a short vacation around SGDQ. Uh, Ron 157 for transformations you need a unique item each so duplicating the same fly will not add to the Lord of the Flies transformation a really good idea though it's a nice thought process but it does not work that way and in this case Lord of the Flies transformation does not add to our build since we already have uh, flying Interesting he got stuck there. I'm not sure why. Keep on doing what you're doing there, portals. That splash on the holy light is so good. Uh, 
light bulb is a stat up when our thing's fully charged. Want to fish for an even better trinket, though. Okay, I want to die. Probably should have right there, but we didn't. That was a close one. Man, three times with this four, uh, four chest room. You got me, man. I want to see what's in the box. I'm just going to use Empress here because I can. Because if I don't, it's going to go unused, and I know that about myself. Shops will now appear in the way. Whoa, hold on. That's a trinket we consider holding till the next floor. Yeah, that's only Womb 1, so we get a shop inside of Womb 2. I don't know. If we get something even better, I'll drop it, but those something better is like three trinkets. This will not spawn a store on this floor, but if we're uh, going into a womb floor and we're holding this trinket during the generation of the floor, that's how we get it. Oh, you can do better than that. Give me that forehead tattoo back. There you go. There you go. Hey! Look at that. We gulps into our trinket. Now we can go back for this. I was going to guarantee store and hush if we decide to go that route. We'll see about that. Right now, we have a, a slight damage up, but we have no actual tier rate up, so we're pretty far behind on damage. Hey, Peripheral 1994, thanks for an awesome 34 consecutive months. Nailed it, man. That's exactly what's happening. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. You deserve it. Uh, this library super secret room, if you have anything that generates uh, red hearts, hematemesis pill, uh, lover's card, etc. You get only black hearts in there. Well, look at these toe beans. Sometimes you just gotta boop those toe beans. Sometimes you got stuff. This right here, if we get an angel room, could net us uh, an additional god-style item. I 
Boneheart, uh, no good for us. All right. Oh, I was expecting Mom's heart here for some reason. Because I'm getting ahead of myself, that's why. Don't step on me, buddy. There you go. Do that, though. All right, no angel room here. Yeah, definitely going to take this. We're going to lock ourselves out of angel rooms now. Uh, we did not drop the feather. We left the feather to use the nose goblet on the boss since we have goat head. Whoa there, buddy. <laughs> Man, I have Belial feeling pretty nice right about there. Okay, no is not a bad trinket. going down We do have BFF indeed, James Borg. What's this toaster friend doing here? All right then. Oh, that's right, we got a store on this floor. Let's go get it. Whoa there, early damage. Ooh, do you see him trying to whip me there? Little whippity whappity. Get out of here. Get out of here. With your whippity whappity. Hey, Green, drop a steam sail one time, huh? You can do it, I believe in you. A reroll all items here ain't too shabby. Okay, we got a reroll machine here. Let's see if we can get a half off item before we do anything else. All right, that's a steam sale. That's good. It's going to be a three cent item here. That's a lot of items we can buy. There's placebo. All right. Car battery, yes. Regular battery, okay. Uh, red candles, a spacebar item. There's chaos. All right, it's getting juicy right here. Uh, 
gonna pick this pick this back up before I touch this. Counterfeit penny actually pretty legit here. Keep on giving me space for items. Part way to bookworm and spun now. All right, there's another guppy piece. That's two out of three. There's Bookworm. Yeah, I know we could have dipped out the steam out of there, but I'm doing exactly what I intended to do. Well, I do uh, very much appreciate your guys' suggestions and stuff. Being sad about the way I play the game isn't exactly encouraged. I'm here to enjoy my run and have a good time. I encourage you to do the same. We're going to go through and go one more time here through. We can buy as much stuff as we can hold from the store on the money we make here. And then we can dip low inside the store and get a change rune for a reroll of about 25, 30 items. Hey, me too, Nimble Right. I get to have a fun time every run. I played Isaac in a lot of different ways, but uh, a lot of times when I reach a game break situation, I just like to generate uh, generate enough items where we know we're going to get something good. We know with the items that we're going to have that we're going to get uh, a pretty massive upgrade to our build. Bomb bag's not going to hurt anybody. Just blow this guy up. Uh, Prophet of R and Jesus, the locked uh, boss room is on depths two, not womb two. You're always going to be able to leave the uh, the womb two boss boss room. Shouldn't be any exceptions to that. If you do have a teleportation card, you can get out of the uh, the depths to boss room. I think it's all just part of the process, really, Demon Away. I mean, I played Isaac much different when I first started playing Isaac than I do now, and I play different than I did in the middle of playing, etc. I think I get into the thousands and thousands of hours playing this game. Uh, Mid-maxing becomes a lot more tedious, or at least it did for me. I never have a, a tough time finding uh, finding some fun in the run. It's got to go with the flow. I think as a broadcaster, or as, a lesson I've learned as a broadcaster, is a really tough one to learn, is the situation you put in is really like the level of intensity you're going to get back, right? So if I do run streaks and I'm super tough on min-maxing everything, chat gets incredibly more intense about every decision that's made. It's just kind of the natural process of things. So by relaxing myself and just having some more fun with it, uh, it makes for a much more relaxing environment. And at the end of the day, that is my goal here. Let's give people a place to relax and enjoy themselves.
Yes, mother! Okay, I do want pentagram, though. I don't think there's any right or wrong way to play the game, but uh, as my goals as a broadcaster become more defined, uh, it's definitely changed my play style. There's nothing wrong with playing for serious or doing win streaks or uh, speed running or any of those things. That's just not what we do here. Okay, we're going to buy a pentagram here for a nice damage up. Oh, I want Synthahall too. That's a nice damage up as well. But you know, it's time to go ham on this. We're going to Diplo in this room. Okay. And then we're going to... Uh, pick this back up. Time to try to roll this here. Let's pick up this Synthahall first, though, huh? That looks like a pretty solid get there. Is there any items in here that we do not want to pick up? Probably Explosivo is something we don't want to pick up here. Cricket's Head. We already have the damage multiplier from the Magic Mush, but that's all right. Slepathy for Dummies is okay. Hmm. Is that contract from below for three cents, though? I mean, three, three biggins. I'm probably going to go back over there. Well, I think we are going to go to Hush here. Oh, my God, we have... Forget me now. Where is the the store generating trinket here? Can we do it all again? I think we can. Sure, a little shot speed never hurt anybody. Okay, I really want that contract if possible. Let's go do the combat room. Now, 33 damage. That was a nice one. Oh, that's right. We did gulp that trinket. Thanks for uh, reminding me of that, chat. Good looking out. Not a spider. Thanks for 15 consecutive months. Sure feels that way, huh? The months just keep on turning. Yeah, we did take damage there. Let's just leave and go back in to refresh that. Holy guacamole. Then we're going to use the Forget Me Now, and we can hold on to the Trinket Box still. Uh, one effect I did not uh, mention on the Trinket Box that we currently have that's generating trinkets for us uh, every four pips or a battery is that it doubles the effect of Trinket. So if we find the uh, the Cancer Trinket here, it's going to give us minus four tier delay. That's even below our uh, base cap, so it's really powerful. Prince to the end, and... Alright, we're going to pick up Forget Me Now, now, and then we're going to roll things over. Hold on, we're going to hold on to this to get an item room as well. There we go. The penny might end up being better, but an item room and a store in the womb? Never had that happen before. Let's do it. Paul Funyon, welcome the Damper, sir. Thanks for that Twitch Prime support. Appreciate you making it official and Cannon Fodder Soldier. I believe that is a welcome back to the Damper. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, 
Ooh, gives your uh, followers homing shots. Let's gulp that down. I got faith we're going to find another gulps in here. Look at all the things! No two item rooms here make that be an awesome effect if Mom's box doubled uh, that trinket, though. Be pretty radical. Ooh, buddy. Nice. Stores are free, baby. Stores are free. Well, if we take damage, we're dead anyways. You know, we could become Lazarus here. I think we're gonna wait. Ooh, that's Guppy right there. Oh, that's a piece of conjoined. Ooh, sprinkler is real good. We're gonna hold on to that for a minute. Also, we're gonna get the trinket we want here. Not sure how much deeper we actually want to go on this. I'm definitely going to stop at Explosivo. Those are pretty good. Oh, double reroll there, fine. Mark is more damage, 99 bombs. That gives us plus one bomb. Nice. Cat head, okay. Bomber boy with sad bombs is disgusting. Okay, there's Cursed Eye. Uh, we don't have explosion immunity, so we're going to pass on Bob here. Oops. Ooh, the second one didn't go there. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and swap back to the box here and start generating some trinkets. I'm feeling pretty good about where we're at. Curve Torrent's pretty sick for damage here. Plus 12, I think. Yeah, plus 12 damage. We also have car battery for the sprinklers. So we're going to drop a uh, double there. Beware tick just to our right there. Rag die doesn't work on the lost here. Item room. Oh, pill baggy, probably not. Probably not. That tick's not in too scary of a location. There's the crack crown. Okay, that's one we'll take here. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it.
Watch out for those spinning discs, though. They hurt. Hey, what's up, key beggar? All right, just gonna give you a couple keys here before I drop a bomb on you. Have a nice day. Wow, the desecration there was intense. Those are pretty good. All right, uh, we're going to drop the sprinkler in the hush fight, I think. I don't see why we wouldn't. Oh my god, what does that, what does that mean? Am I a bad person? Kibbles and bits. Thanks for a legendary 28 months, sir. Creeping on up on that three years. Thanks so much for that sub love and original dill flavor. Thanks for nine months in a row. So much love tonight. You know, Book of Shadows is honestly an awesome bailout here, but we know that the sprinkler, though, the intensity, the passion. I don't want an item that bombs me, though. I don't. Taro, okay. Wouldn't Cursed Eye be pretty crazy with the shotguns right now? Probably not better than two tier eight, though. Oh, we got double sprinkler here. This is good. This is good. And you have a resplendent day as well. Don't forget to keep it grossly incandescent. Oh, he fell down. He fell down. What a good sleepy kitty man. Winston was not impressed. He was too busy sleeping. Mm -hmm. I think we can hold uh, two cards here, right? We can. All right, going up. Whoa, yeah, that was damage, I see it. Oh, one of them survived? How can I be mad at that? I'm just impressed. Well, you almost got there in time, Sprinkler. Hey, there's that double trinket slot here. That's nice. That's a pretty junky set of items there. I guess you can come with me, bum friend. I guess. Chance to negate damage and virus touch? Sure. 
Sure, buddy, you betcha. I don't think I want the stopwatch here. It slows you down on the Holy Mantle activation, or it slows everything in the room down, which is good, but... Necessary here? I don't think so. Hey, another life. I also have fast bombs. I mean, I could do, like, three of those. Okay, it's a little chunky, a little spicy. Pretty good, though. There it is. How you doing? One tier rates. We've made it to maximum tier rates. Hold on a second here. Are we getting to one tier rate with just the cancer trinket? Oops. I think we are. Because if that's the case... Oh, not quite. Okay. Almost, though. Range and raw liver, sure, man. Get roasted. Hey, the Rager 9. Thanks for that very generous uh, 100 bits. Appreciate your generosity. Yeah, this is good here. Um... I'm going to wait a second. Let's go ahead and clear the rest. Oh no, three tier rate. How mediocre. The Keeg, welcome the Damper Dude and Trent Gold. Thanks for your continued generosity with those gifts, man. Three Steam sales, 150% off. Pay me to take those items. That's not how it works at all, but be cool if it was, huh? Sure. It's a box. Didn't quite get us closer to our goal, but okay. Rescuer, thanks for 39 consecutive months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Oh no! Well, that's going to drop a bomb after we fired for a few seconds. Luckily, the sprinkler is going to do all the work for us. He did not hold down fire now, which isn't a problem because everything melts before the bomb would drop anyways. Do A pretty cool looking uh, follower from the box of followers here. 
Um, aura that freezes enemies in place sounds nice. Freezing tears are pretty legit with this nine luck. There's really only one way to unlock the holy mantle and get uh, money in your greed machine. That's play on greed mode and donate the max you can every uh, uh, every run. I definitely recommend playing Greed Not Greedier for doing the donations. You get uh, considerably less money on other modes. Or on uh, Greedier mode. Way less. Uh, we'll take Sack Dagger here. Why not? The redefencing. Alrighty. Oh, the yellow, I would say Lilith is probably the most consistent character to get uh, greed mode wins with, just because you can use the box of followers multiple times in the greed waves to simplify uh, what you need. Fucking damage up for a minus shot speed seems like a fair trade. Milk. <laughs> We're getting lucky with uh, not getting the boss here. Boss was the last place we checked. Okay, I'm gonna create a safe state right here. Here we go. Mm. Whoopsie Daisy, do not stand directly on the sprinkler. That's so crazy. Our tears are generating so fast. I think it's actually uh, it's over spawning. The intensity inside there, though, pretty good. GG. I think that calls for some damper time.
GG, what a great run that was. The Joker, 1990. Thanks for three months in a row and many more, man. Treadgold, thanks for that generosity. Dorge Narc, welcome back to the Damper. Goofling, Watch Games, and Demon Firebrand. Thanks for those, thanks for those bits. Cheers to you guys. All right, guys, we're going to slide over some Spelunky here. See where the night takes us from there. We'll get uh, loaded in here and swap up the title. Give me a sec. Good runs of Isaac today. Very fun. One thing here real quick there. All right, everybody, before we head into a uh, Splunky run here, going to stand up, stretch my legs, and take a short break, about five minutes. This will be the only time during the entire show we run any ads. Uh, only do one set for each show here on Twitch. So this will be our three minutes for show number 1,852. If you allow them to play, I really appreciate it. If you don't, still very much appreciate your time here. See you all in a few short minutes to continue the fun. Enjoy the Sleepy Kitty during break time. Be back soon.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks so much for your patience during that short intermission. Let's hop right back into the fun here and see where Spelunky takes us. It's got to be good, man. Let's get some frog in the hole warm up here. C turn around, cricket in the hole. Okay, three point frog in the hole. Whoa, three point penguin in the hole. This guy's on fire. Get him in there while he's still hot. During that short break, John 45D. Thanks for a legendary 43 months, man. Just a few away from four years. Thanks for tuning in. Dun, dun. All right, early Puppo feels good, man. What's over here? Stuff we can't get. Oh, I busted you, not a real dead guy. You're not even a real dead guy. Okay, we can't get back there either. Fair enough. Here we go. Uh, enjoy your breeder. We will not be doing the daily today. I heard Pupperini. Are you uh, sequestered down there? Sure sounded like it. Um, I mean, okay. That went okay. Okay, look at that. Oh, this is the Pupperini right here. You knew it. Pupperini, two free items. What does it mean? It means we got 300 pounds more rope on hand. They're terrible show. Hold on a minute. Did he get aggroed from the ghost? Uh oh. Okay then. Get out of here, you stinky arrow trap. Oh, did I throw a rock over there? I bet I did. Okay, so I hit him in the face with the rock. Well, that's a pretty legit reason to be upset. I'll give him that one. Itches. Don't itch, nose. Okay, he's hopping mad, you can tell, because he's got a shotgun out. I mean, this guy's going to be hopping mad, too. Okay. Oh! Okay. 
I'm sorry that had to happen, Papa, in that way. But here's the thing. We're still alive and we got a shotgun. Okay, there's our key piece. Oh, this is actually the way down, okay. Well, Pupperini store, not exactly what I'm looking for here. I think the chest is going to be on the other side here on the right. We're about to find out. Yeah, there it is. There's two. There's three. Okay, I got some free paste there. Paste is cool. I could sure use some bombs to go with that paste, but you know what? I got myself a guns. And we're out of here. Colander 17, welcome to the Dapper. Thanks so much for making it official with Twitch Prime. You are wonderful. Hey, there's a couple bombs. Talk about once early in the broadcast, we'll be starting a full playthrough of Darkest Dungeon tomorrow. There's no way we're finishing a full playthrough of Darkest Dungeon in th the three days remaining in Fragmas. However, uh, we will get uh, our our Hamlet started and get our first uh, our first weeks under our belt. Going to be playing on uh, not Blood Moon difficulty so we can do an all boss run which uh, I've been wanting to do for a while. So it'll end up being a complete playthrough which will take uh, quite a while. Probably somewhere in the uh, end of the day 175 200 hour range. Hold on, are we on 7th Annual Christmas Miracle this year? Is that happening? Man, pups, you're in a bad way, man. I'm telling you right now, you're in a bad way. I think I just gotta drop down and go for it. I gotta get out of here. This will be number seven, okay. Seventh annual Bashi run. I can't say for the rest of Fragmas or Regus, but we'll definitely uh, not going to play only Darkest Dungeon until the run's complete, no. <laughs> I would never limit myself in that one. So glad we have so many amazing games to play uh, here on the stream. All right, Frog, you're out of control. You're out of control, Frog. Uh, I'm going to rope up here, because if the black market is kind of in this vicinity, it's not great. 
Okay. Baron Von Bloodbeard, I believe that is a welcome back to the damper. Thanks for that continued support. You are wonderful. Oh, he still got me, that stinky fish. Hey, Paparini. That was some high quality blippins I heard there. Sweet high quality blippins. Okay, let's drop Pup off at the blips. Tough toenails, monkey. I don't know, man. There's a giant frog over here which could very easily have spring shoes. Do want. Giant frog does not have spring shoes, but here we're going into a very hostile black market. Static ass. Thanks for a great four months of lurking, man. Lurkers number one. It's a jetpack right there. That's a jetpack, though. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. That I did. Darn. Yeah. Whoa, he got hit by a bullet there and didn't actually get stunned. Was it me? All right, that guy is uh, dead, too. Only 12 bombs here isn't, like, a lot. Okay, got him. Nice. Wow, Puff's still alive down there? That's crazy, man. Three bombs, huh? Okay, we can just rob the shopkeep here this way. Leave that Pupperini alone. How did we not die there? Thanks for the bombs, Chuckles. Okay, now the worst of the, uh, you know, this level is over. Oh my god, it's a Tiki Village. I shouldn't have said anything. It's been a long time since we've seen a Tiki Village. It's a terrifying area. It's got lots of these things and lots of boomerang throwers. Get bamboos. And try to clear our way across here. If we can clear our way across, we can get. Oh, don't do that. Don't turn around, bud. We can bring the puppy to the exit here. What a crazy hard level. Imagine that without, like, the shotgun to clear. Pretty stupid. Zelda Griffin. Welcome the damper. A little hand to you. And thanks so much for making it official with Twitch Prime. You rock. I don't want to use a bomb here, but I'm smart enough to do so. Give myself a clean, clean shot on that shopkeep. Okay, well that's taken care of. Let's put the shotgun down and go back and grab our pups. Hey, Pupperini, don't mind all the dead guys. No, I didn't do that at all. Well, you know, I had two pups, that's all I'm saying.
Oh, alternate track. It's not smooth jazz, but it's still the alt track. Nice. One in one hundo chance. Get yourself a boops. What you got in there? Spike shoes we already got, so no thanks there. Yeah, what the hey, we're going. Oh, I need to go back up here. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't do that, sir. Sir. Remain in your store. It's safer there for all of us. All right, we're going to the worm, which is an alternate level uh, here in Spelunky. We can still maintain uh, our hell chance by doing the mothership after we get out of the worm here, if we don't die. Worm is, uh, I think, the longest area in the game. Uh, it also has no ghost attached to it, so that's, that's a nice thing. You know, Maddox's actually pretty decent here. Maddox is uh, undoubtedly better than the shotgun for this current situation. Oh my god, I almost got telefragged right there. That's as close as it gets. As close as it gets. Okay, here's the acid pool. Nice. I'm gonna use one bomb right here to drain the pool. And this is going to give us the super machete. Now we can chop these little uh, spiky globs on where we could not kill these guys before without taking damage. This also liquefies and one-shots uh, most standard enemies. A so pretty cool find. Hey, Pupperini. guy. Good for him. Good for him. Okay, he's going to end up telefragged over there is my guess. It's just a near-death experience. It builds character. Yeah, go over there. Pups, I mean, thanks, bud. I definitely wanted that health up from the pups because doing uh, the mothership with one HP seems pretty terrifying. But guess what we're going to do? The worm is definitely a lot, uh, a lot better if you already had the blood goblet. Agreed. Very easy to generate health in that circumstance. Okay, we get to do the mothership with two HP. Even better. Gonna use a rope here. Safety first and all. Okay, let's hang out here for just a minute. Anti solar flare, thanks for nine months and many more. Little hand to you, thanks so much for keeping it dapper. Okay, Mothership has lots of UFOs like this. It has uh, bomb spawners, and it has turrets which auto-target and fire at you. That's not even the bosses. 
Then you also have the Mother Brain. Um, okay, here we go. Mother Brain, which targets you and tries to kill you. Uh, you have the tel Telepathy Aliens. that shoot uh, purple rings at you, which are even more scary than Anubis's rings. Okay, no thanks on that, huh? Okay, there's uh, Mother Brain as well. Okay, but I just don't want to die, if that's okay. That's it, I just didn't want to die. Okay, the shopkeep should fall down eventually. There he goes. Oh my god. Okay. Fudge. Okay, here's our ticket right here. This is it. Laddie is forever. Welcome back to the Dapper and Guides. Thanks for that very generous gift. Much love. That was a really, it was a happy accident. I wasn't intending on uh, being able to manipulate the individual bricks on that, but there it was. I learned something new. Okay, there's our resurrection shrine, so we are going to die on this level. But before we do, we want to try to drop the pup off uh, at the exit. This way we can get an extra HP when we resurrect, and resurrect with 5 HP instead of 4 for the first level of the temple. There we go. Collected our stupid hat, which is one half of the key piece to the City of Gold. Yeah, buddy. Alright, Anubis is going to live somewhere in this level. Holy thwomps, Batman. I'm going to nope out of that one. The only way you lose the jetpack there is by a crushing death. Oh, I wanted those style points, buddy. That's right. Well, it's almost in the lava, but not quite. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, buddy, that's dangerous. Got really lucky that went over there. I could have whipped into the fires above us and then we dead. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, our entrance to the City of Gold is guaranteed to be somewhere on the main pathing of this level. Which means we're going to do this. That is too many thwomps, sir. Okay, there's our entrance to the City of Gold. We are going to go back and try to pup a rescue here, because we need to. Hey, Olmec, you want to drop a couple bombs for me? Thanks. Venomous ferret. 
Welcome the Dapper. Enjoy the emotes and community and Cheesy Bob. Thanks so much for that gift, dude. Well, we again have the, uh, the Super Machete here, so we can probably just rock out Anubis 2 with that. Let's we'll see why not. We gotta get inside the chamber, though. It's gonna cost us at least one bomb, no matter how we play it. Okay, that's fine. Boop. This hallway here is not so fine. Oh, hey, that's a very dead shopkeep. Oh, okay. We couldn't really afford the bomb there, so we just went on through. It's scary. Man, look at all this uh, gift love and chat tonight. Guys, thanks for those continued gifts. Grab and fear in Naristo. Welcome to the Dapper. Enjoy the emotes and community. Thanks so much for being here. Chop! What do you mean I almost died to Golden Statue? Not even close. <laughs> That's pretty close. Dark Melian, welcome back to the Dapper. Guys, you're on a rampage. Thanks so much for that. It's a friggin' gift stampede. Boring robe, what a name, what a player. Welcome to the damper. Much love. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Is that all of our stuff? It is. Alright, so we're gonna have to, like, combo here and get... Olmec to do a little bit of work for us. All right, so it's right there, man. Gotcha. Was a start, right? That's a freaking B, man. Let's pull him over here and see where we're actually at here. Boop, boopity boop. But don't forget your boopsin'. Okay, so we're a little bit off here. The door's right there. We got a little bit of chunkage out. Kagiro, thanks for 23 consecutive months. You are wonderful. You really just gotta be ready for the send-outs here. That's the trick. Crush that frog, or don't. It is your choice, you're right. You are the giant gold statue in this situation. But you know you wanna squish that frog. I think we might just start using a few bombs here. We got, uh, I think, enough through. No, uh, we're doing okay. Let's get a little bit more here.
That was too close for comfort, man. KJ Ant Eminem, thanks for those 10 bits, man. Appreciate your generosity. Hope you're having a great night. This will actually, if we complete this, be the first time I've ever uh, defeated Olmec in this fashion. Or had it work out, I guess is a better way to put it. Okay, this should be plenty enough room to uh, use our eight bombs. Or is it? No, let's just get a couple more in here. I don't trust myself. Yes, insta-death if we're crushed here. Very much so. One more. Yeah, that's what I thought, buddy. I think that's enough crushing for us to be safe here. Chip chop. Hopefully this is bombed. Hey, 150 pounds more rope. Who can complain about that? I mean, that is wide enough. We'll see, though. Okay, we made it for five bombs there. That was intense. We're going to hell. A horrible feeling of nausea overcomes you. Is that the real, legitimate Pupperini all the way up here? By God, Pups, come with me. I'm probably going to drop you, and you might die, but... I'll give the old college try here. 150 pounds more rope. How'd you know what I wanted for my birthday? Okay, noted. He's already dead. Excellent. Oh, I hear a fake Pepperini over there. Can you tell me if these spikes are sharp, sir? Oh, they definitely are. Good to know. A little bit late for blood farming here, man. Yes, 150 pounds more rope. How'd you know? What? Okay, well, the exit is pretty weird right there. Oops. That bomb actually works out okay. 
Okay, it works out fine. Nope. Okay, th here's our chance. Sam, mom, thanks for 20 consecutive months. Little hand to you, friend. Thanks for that big 2 0. This little cubby safe? No, it's not. Get out of here. Well, I don't see a shopkeep. That means he's not there. I'm going. We're out of here. Hey, thanks a lot for that, Jay Lang. And thanks for those hundred bits as well, man. More rope forever. Okay. Oh my god, don't do that. Ho ho! Get your hand crushed, you son of a gun. Oh, don't, don't do that. Okay, we're fine. Everything's good. Stand up, sir. GG. <laughs> well, we did get to crush his hand with the, uh, the orb there. With that, Dracula done bamboozled me. Fantastic run of Spelunky. Very rare to actually die on the Yama fight itself. Nothing to feel bad about there. It's a really excellent run. That was a really interesting run, not having enough bombs to get uh, through Omek. Uh, we got no Blood Goblet that run. We did make it all the way through uh, Worm and Mothership without those things. Nothing to be sorry about, Try Gold. Just part of playing Spelunky, man. Glad you enjoyed it. Spelunky makes for some wonderful streaming moments. The reason I enjoy this game so very much. Lawrence Forza, thanks for that big 2-0, man. Appreciate that prime love. Well said, Olman. Spelunky happens. Our past couple deaths on Yama have been interesting. The most interesting, though, is when his head got glitched inside that pillar, and he was damaging himself with the skulls. And he dropped a live bomb on my head. I think that's my favorite Yama death so far. Well, guys, I do believe that's going to do it for show number 1,852 here on Twitch. We'll be back at it tomorrow around uh, 6 p.m. Pacific for day 29 uh, of Fragma Summer Edition. We'll be kicking off a full playthrough of Darkest Dungeon on normal difficulty. We're going to do all the bosses and all that stuff. But we'll get the first couple days of that for our last days of Fragmas and then resume our playthrough after we're getting back into the swing of things. Thank you all for another great show here on Twitch TV. We had a great time playing Isaac and Spelunky. That sure was a really exciting run. Can't ask for anything more than that. Until next time, keep it damper and be good to each other. That's all I got for tonight. Frag out. Much love, everyone. <laughs>